somehow you are not behaving like Region 10. Region 10, are you ready for victory? Comrades, this afternoon, as we gather here for this Region 10 rally, we are making some specific statements. Number one, Linden is not owned by the APNUAFC. Comrades, I want all of you here to help me from today. Talk to 10, 15, 20 people in the nail saloon, in the barber shop, in the marketplace, in the temples, in the church, and in the mosque. Tell them the party with a vision for Guyana to bring the new wave of prosperity is the People's Progressive Party Civic. So comrades, we must make a statement. Secondly, we must stand up to the bullies that live in Linden. Let me make it clear. The majority of the people of Linden are peace-loving, intelligent, industrious, productive, and God-fearing. And we salute them. But we got a few people who Grange ain't do nothing for them for five years. But all of a sudden they come to Linden and passing out little money to them and they're behaving bad. But the PPPC will stand in Linden and Region 10 and bring our message. The third message we are sending, every vote that is placed for the PPPC on election day will be counted this time around for the PPPC. You see, long ago, they used to be putting the thing like this, APNU, and it's a PPPC vote, and they're dropping it. But we are giving notice to the APNU AFC, your rigging machine and Linden can't work because the people of Region 10 want the PPPC. And our comrades will stand their ground. The fourth message that we want to give to the people of Region 10 by way of this rally, your season of punishment is finished. You know, when I walk around Region 10, what I just tell people? PPPC going to look after you. You know why I tell them that? They voted green. They hear up Granger. And I've been on radio, I've been in public meetings, I say, I want one of y'all to come to the microphone. Call him from the program and tell Linden what the APNU did for you. You know what's the answer? Nothing. They closed down the call center. Jobs lost. They strangled the forestry sector. People ain't getting touched. Jobs lost. They strangled the mining sector with all of the insensitive policies and taxes. The fellows are in the front liming at 10 o'clock in the morning. But we will restore jobs for Lindeners, for Region 10, and jobs for the people of Guyana. We will bring an end to the punishment. And the fifth message, the fifth message we want to send from this rally, these elections is not an ethnic census. We be counting black people, and we counting coolie people, and we counting Amerindians above people like you always say. These elections are about issues, and people are looking at skin and religion and face. 
people are looking at the real issues. We have put out a manifesto, an action plan for development and progress. Irfan Ali, Mark Phillips, Barajak Dio, Bishop Hill, Sam Hanks, you Todd, and all the other comrades, we are out telling you what we will do with your vote, and that is to transform Guyana. What the APN you come to tell you Friday night? That you must pee in a cup. They have nothing to tell you. Do you see any Jamaican artists on stage? We are the Guyanese with a message of hope, prosperity, and progress. Let me hear you, PPPC. So, comrades, we're going to be going home later this afternoon. But I want us to lock shoulders. From 58 miles, Mabura, 47, Great Falls, Malali, Muratario, Three Friend Mines, Kamaka, Nottinghamshire, Old England, Kokwani, Huru, Landersville, Arima, Kalkuni, Kimbia, Ipini, Wairuni, Sand Hills, Devel, we fought him. P P P C. We can't be living the way we do. Over four years, it can't come true. And finally, comrades, to all my brothers and sisters in Mackenzie, in Wisma, people from Barmy and Moblissa and Fair Street and Buck Hill and Silver Town and West Watuka and all across Linden not because you voted traditionally for the PNC you are our enemies we don't see you as enemies we see you as Guyanese and that is why we are coming to your homes that is why we will continue to come in your neighborhoods with our message because we believe when we present the issues you as reasonable people will use your heart and when you go to the ballot box you'll be thinking about your future your children's future jobs prosperity for Guyana safety and security and a country that where the leaders obey the constitution and where we don't discriminate and I recommend to all of you in the mining town of Linden open up your hearts let us reason together and on March 2nd, let us vote for the COP, for the PPPC. Thank you very much and God bless you.